What's up guys, today we are going to be taking a look at how to set up QLab 4 with a Yamaha CL3 via Dante. Let's get into it. There are a few different things that we are going to need for this all to work. First off, we need a Mac computer that will be running three pieces of software. The first piece of software that is required is Dante Virtual Sound Card, which will allow for our computer to act as an audio device that can talk to the Dante network. The link to purchase this, as well as the links to the other software, will be at the top of the description below. The second piece of software we need is Dante Controller, which is used to route our audio from our computer to our console and other devices. And last but not least, we are going to need QLab. Note that you can use the free version of QLab to output two channels of audio, but if your project requires more than two channels of audio, you are going to have to buy or rent to own a license. More information on licenses can be found on Figure53's website. I am going to assume that you already have a Dante network set up and are somewhat familiar with it. After you have downloaded and installed the software, we are ready to get started. First, you are going to want to make sure that your Mac is connected to your Dante network via Ethernet and has a valid IP address and subnet in the correct range. If there is a DHCP server running on your network, you probably don't have to worry about this. After you get your Mac connected to the network, we are going to hop over into Dante Virtual Sound Card. Once it opens, you should be in the Settings tab. Click on the Audio Channels drop down menu and select 2x2. If you have an audio license for QLab, you can choose the number of channels that suits your needs. For Network Interface, if not automatically selected, you are going to want to choose your Ethernet connection. Once it is selected, you can then press the Start button and then you should see your IP address. We can now close out of this program. Now we are going to jump over into Dante Controller so that we can route our audio to our console. Once it opens, your devices should automatically be discovered and displayed along the receiving and transmitting tabs. To make subscriptions, open the channels on your Mac via the transmitting tab and then your console channels via the receiving tab. Then click at the intersection of the channels that you wish to connect. I will be routing channels 1 and 2 from my computer to channels 30 and 31 on my console. When the green check mark appears, the subscription is active. We can now close out a Dante controller and jump over to the console. Once at the console, select the channels you want your QLab inputs to be coming from. Once selected, touch the current input patch in the gain area of the screen. This will bring up the patch and name pop-up window. Click on patch and then choose your Dante inputs for the selected channels. Repeat this step for your other channels. Once you have these patched, you can head back over to your computer and open up QLab. Once you are in QLab, we are going to create a new workspace. Once it is created, we are going to hop into the settings by clicking the gear in the right hand corner and then click on the audio tab. From here, click on the drop down menu for audio patch 1 and select Dante Virtual Sound Card. After that is selected, click done. Now we are ready to drag in our audio files. Once your files are imported, click on your first queue and then click on the header that says Audio Levels. Double check to make sure that it says Audio Patch 1 and Dante Virtual Sound Card. From here, you can adjust your levels accordingly. And that's it, you can now use Keylab for audio playback with your Dante network. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them, otherwise check out the Keylab Google Group and Figure53's website for more help.